A milestone reveals how far we've come in accomplishment and give cause for celebration. We stop, look back, and recall our journey. Today, Family Worship Center is celebrating 60 years in existence as a church. We're excited to look back and reminisce with pictures and stories of where we came from. Family Worship Center has been a continuous church family where people can worship, connect, and serve God in Pueblo, Colorado since 1954. A couple from Florida had the desire to move to Pueblo and start a church. We're part of the Church of God, which was founded in 1896 with headquarters in Cleveland, Tennessee. The church they started was on East 2nd Street, where they remained for nine years. This is still a thriving sister church with the services in Spanish and in English. In 1963, Family Worship Center moved to 740 West 15th Street, with Sunday morning attendance averaging about 40 or 50 people. Gail Barnett was the pastor during this move and pastored Family Worship Center for seven years, the second longest pastorate. Family Worship Center had several pastors during these years, with the average stay of two and a half to three years in tenure. In September of 1990, David Smith became the pastor with Sunday morning averaging about 10 or 15 people. This was his and Carissa's first pastorate. Most of all the original people are still attending, except those who have passed away. We have the privilege to listen to their insight and reflection on Family Worship Center's history. Stay faithful, and I will grow my church. I will grow my church. And the love that you felt in the church then, that small country church feeling you still feel when you come to church now. God has really blessed us. I think we've kind of become spoiled because we have, you know, we have a beautiful building and we have all this room and I, I'm grateful for it, but we, I know where we've come from. Yeah. Um, the church is just, it's really like my family. It really is my family and uh, they've been there for me through hard times and good times. Dave married both of my children. He preached my husband's funeral and without the church I don't know where I would have been during that time. They really came alongside me and supported me and they've just been a blessing. It has meant the difference between heaven and hell because when I was single I was on my road to hell. Even after I'd been saved at nine years old I got older and went my own way and was doing my own thing and I knew that God was calling me. We're blessed because of the missions we supported way back. Right, and you started that bill. You're the one that really pushed that out. Yeah. And that's why I figured that a lot of it was, was blessed for our new church. As even though our church is grown so much um, really since Pastor Dave and Krista came is why it's grown or since then it's grown. It's just always had that same feeling of a small church. I've always felt welcome and loved. And God's just always provided people for the church that would just step up and, and, and do things even if they weren't comfortable with it. Um, like for example, Loretta um, was a the youth leader, and we had a very small youth group, but um, she decided to get her driver's license because we need, the kids needed somebody to drive them around. So I began teaching for our church, and that's where I first found my love and my passion for teaching. When I was 19, we needed teachers on Wednesday night. We had several on Sunday mornings, but we didn't have any on Wednesday night. When I was born, the church was still on West 15th and Craig. Um, a small church, but big in prayer warriors that have paved the way for us to be here today, um, which I forever will be grateful for. As I stand before you uh, with the praise and worship team on Sunday, I often hear uh, those words of prophecy, and I stand amazed uh, at God's faithfulness and how this church has been blessed above and beyond uh, what any of us could have envisioned. Um, I appreciate Pastor Dave and Carissa being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and coming here at the perfect time to be our leader. Where we've come from way back then till now is just is amazing. And uh, even moving from one church to the next and now in the beautiful building we're in now, it just, um, that's God. And as we just continue to look and hold on to His hand and let Him lead and guide us, then um, the Holy Spirit will never guide us in the wrong directions and so we've got to keep our eyes on God and let him 
be the one that takes us through this journey and for another 60 years or hopefully Jesus will come before then but if he doesn't he'll be here with us again and uh, I, I'm glad to be a part of Family Worship Center. In 1994 with God's blessings our church continued to grow to 90 attendees. As with any family we needed more room and purchased a building at 540 Alma Avenue and held our first service in September. Family Worship Center paid off the mortgage note in October of 1998. In 2004, our family outgrew our home again. We sold 540 Alma Avenue and leased 801 West 4th Street while our new worship center was being constructed. We moved our family into our current home, or as Pastor says, toolbox for ministry, in April of 2008. With God's continued blessings, we paid off our new home in October of 2012. Our family's mission has always been on people and helping them pursue a lifelong relationship with Jesus Christ. We focus on helping people connect to Jesus Christ through weekly and monthly gatherings, life groups, Bible studies, and fellowships. We've always had a heart for missions. As a church family, we support 16 missionaries. Through the years, our family has had a thriving children's and student ministry. Many children have been privileged to grow up in a safe, healthy church family. We cherish all ages in our family. Our senior adults give us the roots and stability that we need. We are grateful to God for them. And as with any family, we enjoy family traditions that we look forward to. One is the church picnic, where we're all able to get together and share a meal and enjoy a fun day at the zoo. Or our Christmas banquet has become another family tradition. Through the years, it included all of our family cooking the meal, baking turkeys, cakes, decorating, serving the meal. Now our family is able to enjoy a beautiful sit-down meal at the convention center. As in any family, we've experienced great joys, victories, and triumphs as well as times of great loss. There have been many of our warriors who have gone on to their reward in heaven. As a family, we mourn the loss together and comfort each other. We've celebrated the joy of new life and children being born into our family. But don't we have the cutest babies? At this milestone, we realize God has greatly blessed our family through the years. Our desire and prayer is that we will continue to grow and to look for new ways to encourage people of all ages to pursue a lifelong relationship with Jesus Christ.